Hello everyone, today we will be doing another unboxing and this one's going to be Rilakkuma themed. Um, so I have a few Rilakkuma products here to open up for you. So I think the first thing I'm going to open up um, is, let's do this really cute remit I have right here. I'm going to put these off to the side. So this remint is Sweets in Dream and there are eight different um, types that you can get and they feature Rilakkuma and Kirilakkuma and it looks like Kiratori as well. So here we have some of the options we can get. Really cute is the other side. Super super cute um, and different desserts. This is what the back looks like, the licensing and such. These are from 2017. Um, some more tickets and then the price. So I got these for $10. So let's go ahead and open up this uh, remit and see who or which um, one we got. Whoa, okay, and then, okay, so that's it. So we get a little pamphlet here with a little bit better look at um, all of the choices we can get. Really cute, nothing on the back. And it looks like we got a curatory and Corilla Kuma combo. And it's this really cute like cherry part, so let's see. Which one that one is? I think it's just the cherry. Yeah, this one. Cherry tart. Really cute. So that's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and put it together. So normally remits come in like several parts and then you put them together to make like uh, a bigger figure or whatever. Let's go ahead and assemble this. We have the plate. Let's take a closer look at that. Just has Villacuma on there. And I think, a, what is that, a unicorn? Very cute. And I think I dropped my tart over here. So here's what the tart looks like. And it's just a closer look. And these are really, really nicely uh, detailed. You can see, you know, the, the textures that are there for the tart. And then we have our little characters. We have Gorilla Kuma and Kyotori. Let's look at Kyotori first. And that's what he looks like. Oh, he's wearing a little like cute cherry hat. Super adorable. That's what he looks like. And then uh, Gorilla Kuma. I almost said Gorilla Kuma. He's right there. She's kind of like with her. Eyes closed, kind of like happy, like dreaming. So I believe um, she goes down here and Kiratori goes right here. And they both go on top of this little plate. So here is what our end product um, looks like and it's a bit fragile because these aren't like really on there and then I actually have another of the same series and this one is just Gorilla Kuma by herself and it is this one it is the is this a strawberry cupcake so this one and I open this uh, a long time ago, but I never quite put it together. So I'm just gonna do that today since these are part of the same series. I'm very excited to finally put it together. So here again, this is what the plate looks like. And it looks like we got a different plate. And this one says Kurilakuma. And there's a little Kurilakuma with like a strawberry balloon. Here's the tart. Or, uh, cupcake, I'm sorry. Really, really yummy looking. And again, all the detail is there. The licensing. 
And then let's look at Corilla Kumo. I almost said Rilla Kumo again. What's wrong with me? Here she is. And she's just holding a little strawberry and she's like wide awake. Really cute. So for this one, let's see. She just stands by it. I don't think there's a specific slot for her. Or maybe right here. Oh, yeah. So that's how it looks. Very, very cute. And again, you just put it on the little plate. Oh my gosh. There we go. So that's the idea. Very, very cute. Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna put that down here. These are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. How many times am I gonna drop this on camera? Okay, they're there. So we're not gonna touch them anymore. So that was the Sweets and Dream Remints. Uh, very cute. I was hoping to get a Willa Kuma one, but that's okay. We've got two Coil Kumas and then one with Kiritori, so that's pretty awesome as well. I think the next thing I'll put together is this cute Willa Kuma figure, and he's kind of like um, kind of like a Gundam uh, type figure. You kind of have to put it together. This was from a gacha machine, or gashpon machine, and um, the other choices in this particular series you can get, I think you can get a different, there were two um, Rillakumas and I think one or two maybe, Corillakumas and then a curatory. So it looks when I went, I got this really clean up, so I don't know what it looks like exactly, I just know that it is really clean up. So it's always a little tough putting these together because you kind of have to put them together at the same time. Here, let's put the body first. So we got a Rilla Kuma that is laying down, it looks like. So there goes that part. This part. And you just want to align these two pieces. Okay. And you put the ears in there. And let's see if I can clamp it down. In there. Did I put them on the wrong side? I might have done that. Let's see. Oh yeah. So that's why it wasn't fitting together. Okay. And now I just clamp it down. And it looks like all the pieces are put in place. So like I was saying, we got Rilakkuma in this really kind of laying down pose, really uh, hinting towards his name, you know, relaxing like he always does. And then the last thing we're going to open up today that is Rilakkuma themed is this remint um, from the Beach House series. And then this one came out, when did it come out? 2016. So we have these very different um, figures. You have eight to collect, and they're all kind of summer themed. Very cute. Here we have a few of the ones we can get. All very, very adorable. Looks like some of them are a bit like the little characters with something else, and some of them are just like things that are made to look like the characters and again this was ten dollars at my local um comic store i'm really excited about this one i think well 
I'll uh, open up the little paper inside and then I'll tell you guys which one I'm hoping for. So I won't look at it exactly yet. I'll just pull out the little paper. So here's the little paper. Wow, it looks so nice. So I think the ones uh, that are most appealing to me are probably like the, um, the beach accessories, like um, these, or like um, the treat set, or maybe the uh, Corilla Coma with the sand castle that's also really, really cute. It looks like on the back, we got little kind of stand I think a little extra yeah stand where you can put these together and have them like displayed so that's really nice and does this tell us which one we got I'm not exactly sure we might have found that one oh my goodness yeah and this one's a lot bigger than our last remix so I guess yeah you it, Whatever one you get, you get the little pamphlet for. So here's the image of it bigger. And we actually got a character one. We got Rilakuma relaxing with a fan. Which is kind of nice because we did not get Rilakuma for the other series. So now we have Rilakuma for this one. So here I'm going to pull out the mat first. Here's what the mat looks like. It's really cute and it's in this green color and it just has Rilakuma, Korolakuma, and Akira Tori on there. Very, very cute. And here's the little boy himself, Rilakuma. He's just, again, being kind of a lazy boy, just relaxing. And we're gonna put him right on top of the mat. He's trying to cool down in the summer. Here's the little plate. Super cute. Just has his face on it. So we'll put that there. And then we have some watermelon slices. So here's one. Very nice again, very detailed. And then we have another one which looks like a bite was taken out of it. Put those there. And then the part that's most exciting for me is the little fan. Look how cute that is. It's just his face. And then you can turn it off and on. And uh, it sits right in front of him. Really, really cute. So this is the set we got again. Very cute. It's just him uh, relaxing. And it says nap in the beach house. Nap in beach house. Really, really cute. So let me bring it up just one more time so you guys can see it uh, all put together. Maybe a little hard to show because of the angle that I'm at. But there you go. And then you can imagine him just and relaxing. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of this really cute Rilakkuma themed video. Let me know down below if Rilakkuma is your favorite Sanex character. And if you like this video, please subscribe for more of my content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye!